Yo, how's it going, everybody? My name is Bruno here, and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Today, we are doing a bit of a rehash, a revamp, a redo of the Iridescent Shards Guide, which has been receiving a lot of attention, surprisingly enough. So, yeah, we're gonna do it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kind of go back over everything. And I've got two goals in mind. First off, the first video, the initial guide video, had some incorrect information. I want to make sure all the information I have in this one is correct. And second, I want to try and keep the video under 20 minutes. Because the last one, well, it was kind of lengthy. So, let's just get into it. So, just like the first time, because this is basically a redo, we have four questions that need to be answered. First and foremost, what are iridescent shards? Second, how do you get them? Third, what do you use them for? What can you spend them on? And fourth, how should you use them? So, first question, what are iridescent shards? Iridescent shards are one of three currencies in Dead by Daylight. The first being blood points, which are, you know, they're blood points. You earn them just by playing the game. Iridescent shards being the second, again, being earned just by playing the game. And the third being oryx cells, which are the premium currency, and you just... you pay for them with real money. You buy them with real money. So, second thing, how do you earn iridescent shards? How do you acquire them? So, again, I said you earn them just by playing the game, and the way that you earn iridescent shards is every time you level up your player level, which is this number right here to the left of your rank, and, well, it's in between your currencies and your rank, and this will be regardless of whether you are killer or survivor. So if I switch over to survivor, I mean, my rank on killer and survivor is 15, just because I haven't played in a while. But my player level stays the same. So, every time you level up, you will gain some iridescent shards. The number that you gain, I believe, gets, like, you get more iridescent shards the higher level you are. I could be wrong on that, though. Um, and it, se it seems to be kind of random. Because there was, you know, I think, like, level 38, I got, like, 175 shards. And then level 39, I got 150 shards. So it does seem to be a little bit of random. But you will get between, like, 100 and 200, maybe more, iridescent shards every time you level up your player level. So that is how you earn them. And if we read this here, the... the text box here will basically answer the third question being what can you spend them on so i'm just going to read this word for word iridescent shards are your player progression currency these may be used to purchase teachable perks characters and customization items in the store they are acquired by gaining enough experience points and increasing your player account level iridescent shards are not capped so that basically answered the third question what can you spend them on? You can spend them on three things. Perks, characters, and customization items. First, let's go over the characters. So, and it is a little misleading because not all characters can be purchased with iridescent shards. So, for example, we've got, the, we've got Ghostface, which is the newest killer, which is also a licensed killer from, I believe it's Scream. But yeah, he is a licensed killer. As such, he cannot be purchased with iridescent shards. He either has to be purchased with oryx cells, which requires 500, or you can buy him, like if, you, if you're on Steam, you can buy him in the DLC store on Steam, and you get the same thing. So, yeah, licensed characters cannot be purchased with iridescent shards. They can only be purchased with oryx cells. This goes for not only killers, but also survivors. Because there are licensed survivors. And of the four that I don't have, these are the two licensed characters that I don't have. Ashley J. Williams, who again, 500 oryx cells, you cannot purchase with iridescent shards. Or Quentin Smith, 500 oryx cells, cannot purchase with, ir with iridescent shards. So... What about characters that you can purchase with iridescent shards? Well, in my case, it would be these two, being the Plague and the Legion. 9,000 iridescent shards, and I... Every time. I do that every time. So 9,000 for Plague, 9,000 for Legion. Any non-licensed character that can be purchased with iridescent shards is going to be available for purchase with, you know, for 9,000, regardless of whether or not they are new or 
you know, like if, if they're brand new, they're still going to cost 9,000 iridescent shards. Now it also mentioned teachable perks, which is going to be over here in the Shrine of Secrets. Now, in the Shrine of Secrets, there are four perks. Two killer perks and two survivor perks. And these rotate weekly. And these are the same perks that are available for everyone, regardless of platform. And you can see here, Shrine of Secrets refreshes in two days. Today, as the day of recording, is June 24th. So, June 26th, or the 27th, is when this is going to reset and some new perks are going to show up here on the uh, Shrine of Secrets. So you can see here, you know, each of these perks costs 2,000 iridescent shards. This is because they have shown up on the Shrine of Secrets before. Now it's kind of unfortunate that we don't have any new perks because new perks that have never shown up on the Shrine of Secrets before do cost a little bit more. Instead of costing 2,000 iridescent shards, they cost 2,700. And as I said earlier, all of the perks are the same, regardless of platform and regardless of whether or not you already have that perk unlocked. So let's say, for example, Brutal Strength. If you already have Brutal Strength unlocked, either from purchasing it on the Shrine of Secrets before, or just playing the Trapper to level 35 and then unlocking it on his Blood Web, you can still purchase this from the Shrine of Secrets. There is a little bit of a difference though. Obviously, instead of unlocking the perk, because you can't unlock the perk twice, you will instead get blood points. And the amount of blood points that you get depends. If it is a perk, you know, if it is a perk that has shown up on the Shrine of Secrets before, so in this case a 2,000 iridescent shard perk, you will get 150,000 blood points. However, if it is a brand new perk, and it costs 2,700 iridescent shards, you will get 250,000 blood points if you already have it unlocked. So let's say for Ghostface, if you already have one of his perks, which, you know, if he's got... You know, let's take a look at his perks. He's got... Let's see, unlocks any survivor performing a rush action. So let's say if you wanted to get this perk, and this perk shows... Like, if you, if you already have this perk... Like, you've already played Ghostface to level 30 and gotten him, you know, unlocked this perk. Then when this perk shows up on Shrine of Secrets, you can spend 2,700 blood points, or iridescent shards, sorry, to get 250,000 blood points, if you want to. Which kind of, lead, you know, segues into the fourth question. How should you spend your iridescent shards? And that is... A subjective question there is no single correct answer to that question because it depends on well depends on who you are what you want to do with your iridescent shards so let's say for example you want a couple of the hags perks because the hag, the hag has a couple of nice perks she's got hex ruin and hex devour hope you want both of these perks like these are both good perks obviously ruin is one of the best perks in the game and you want this perk. <clears throat> so, normally, you would need to play the hag to, a, I believe, yeah, level 35. And the reason I, the reason you don't see it here is because I already have it. Because I purchased it on the Shrine of Secrets. So, let's say you want Hex Ruin, but you don't want to play the hag. Well, you can wait for Hex Ruin to show up on the Shrine of Secrets and then purchase it for 2,000 iridescent shards. So, and it'll show up in one of these two spots here, because again, it is always two killer perks. In this case, we've got a spirit perk and a trapper perk, and we've got two survivor perks, being a Nia Carlson perk and a Feng Min perk. So if you wanted Hex, you know, Hex Ruin, you can do that. You can buy Hex Ruin just from the store, you from the, from the Shrine of Secrets. But... Wait a second, what about the licensed killers? Because you can't buy them with iridescent shards. Well, their perks will also show up on the Shrine of Secrets. So, Cannibal, for example. You can buy, like, barbecue and chili from the store. If you don't want to play the Cannibal, or Leatherface, or whatever the hell you want to call him, you can buy this perk from the Shrine of Secrets when it shows up there. Because it will inevitably show up there. There is a bit of a gamble with this, though because you could be waiting a while. 
you could be waiting a quite a long time for a perk that you want to show up on the Shrine of Secrets. Now, that kind of, you know, leads into, well, what if I what if I actually want the killer? What if I want the killer and I want, you know, I want both the killer and the perks? Well, great. If you want Hex Ruin and Hex Devour Hope, buy the hag for the 9,000 iridescent shards and just have fun. Play her to level 40 so that you can get, you know, Hex Devour Hope and have it unlocked on all, all of your killers. There's a little bit of a different story though when it comes to survivors because obviously the killers are different. Every killer has, you know, it, not only do they look different, they have different perks, but they also have different playstyles. So for example, you've got the Wraith that can go invisible and, you know, it, it's, it's kind of difficult to track a Wraith when he has no terror radius when he's invisible. But you've also got the Doctor who completely obliterates any form of stealth from the game. So, you know, all of the killers are different. The survivors, on the other hand, the survivors are all just reskins of each other. The only difference in survivors is, A, the perks that they have for, you know, from the get-go, and B, well, again, the perks that you have, the perks that you can unlock after you've played them. Once you have a perk unlocked on a character, they are basically the same as any other survivor. Survivor's playstyles are all the same. The only difference is the perks that are available and the perks that could be unlocked with those particular characters. So, my recommendation is if you see a survivor perk on the Shrine of Secrets that you actually want, buy it. Just buy the perk. So, for example, we've got, let's see, we've got this one, Streetwise. This one is an alright perk. I wouldn't say this one is the best perk, but it'll help you if you're using items, like you use items a lot, like you use your flashlights or your med kits a lot. You can grab this perk and then not have to play Nia. But for certain characters, I would say I would say probably what you want to do is find the character that you want to actually play all the time, and just play that character. And if you want to, you can level up other characters. Like for example, I leveled up David. Like you you may have noticed it, but my David is level 50. And actually, if I hit back here and switch over to Survivor, you'll notice my David is level 50. I could do a reset on him if I wanted to. But I'm not going to. Because I have his perks unlocked. I have his, you know, his perk that I really wanted, which was, um... I think it's No One Left Behind. I have that perk unlocked. Or no, We're Gonna Live Forever. That's the first one. And Dead Heart. Both of those are good perks. So, I have those perks unlocked. Because, well, David is a free character. You can take any character, I would say take any character that is free, that comes with the game. So, I believe it's anyone from Dwight all the way to David King. All of these characters are free. Play the characters that you want in order to get their perks. So, Nia has Balanced Landing, which is a good perk. Um, Claudette has Self Care, which is a good perk. Play those characters to level them up. But any character that you need to purchase, so Laurie Strode, she is a licensed character. You need to pay. You need to actually pay money for her if you want, like Decisive Strike. I would wait for that to show up on the store. Um, if you want, because I, I play, I did. You know, I got the Dance with Me perk. I actually played Kate Denson. But if you don't want to pay money for Kate Denson, but you want the Dance with Me perk, wait for it to show up on the Shrine of Secrets. And that's really all I've got. Um, now, of course, and that is in terms of perks, so... Yeah. As for cosmetics, if you really don't have anything else to spend... Like, if you really don't have anything else that you want to buy, like, let's just say you have all of the perks, and you have all of the killer killers, and you just have nothing to spend your iridescent shards on, I mean, you can spend them, and spend them on cosmetics. It's whatever you want to do with them. Um, I believe that's it. 
So, just one other thing to go over. The cosmetics can be purchased all... They can either be purchased as a bundle, or they can all be purchased separately. And it doesn't matter, like, if you if you only want... Like, let's say you only want the, uh, the shirt and the pants for this particular outfit piece, and you don't want this weird-looking head... The weird-looking, like, haircut and the cigarette. You don't have to buy this. You don't have to buy the whole thing. You can get these two... And not be wasting any of your iridescent shards because there is no discount for buying in a bundle. Um, so yeah, that's gonna do it. And right now it looks like we are right about 15 minutes and 30 seconds. So yeah, goal of keeping video under 20 minutes, success. If you found this video informational and helpful, a like would be much appreciated. If you want to share your thoughts with the class, go ahead and feel free to do so down in the comment section down below um as for whether or not i'm gonna do dead by daylight content more regularly i'm not sure because dead by daylight is one of those like flavor of the month kind of games i will jump on and play if i'm feeling the mood for it you know what i mean so whereas like you know my flavor of the past few months has been destiny 2 and i've been playing a lot of destiny 2 lately so I will probably do more videos on Destiny 2. I just wanted to do this one because I kind of felt bad about the original video having that incorrect information and being like super lengthy and super long. So again, if you found this video helpful, a like would be much appreciated. If you want to share your thoughts with the class, go ahead and feel free to do so down in the comment section down below. My name is Gronatier, and if you want to see more from me in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. And I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye-bye.